I think the offense did pretty good again. I mean, there's still some things we got to work on, some things uh, that we can fine tune, but it helped being able to be in the red zone to be able to actually score some touchdowns. Like, we didn't get the opportunity last week. Um, we just got to get healthy, just got to fine tune the playbook, all the install, and then come time, it's game prep for Washington State. So, I'm excited. We, we, we have the potential to be very deadly and very dangerous. We just got to keep on fine tuning and keep on uh, improving day by day. I think we did um, I think we did really well when we were in the red zone. I mean, there's still some things we can work on, but this whole last week we were able to implement the red zone and be able to, to work on it. So we got lots of practice at it. And in practice, we did it really well when we were practicing and then it showed out today. So I think we have some really good red zone plays that can help us get in the end zone. I mean, I, it's awesome. I mean, I love having I mean, I'm, I love that they played here, and I and then I can continue it. And uh, I mean, they can't can, cover them; you just can't do it. <laughs> Coach Bonda. Uh, no, but I love I love having had my brothers played here. It's been awesome to be able to watch them in the past. I've been in the stadium plenty of times, so it's home. But now it's my turn, and I just got to prove who I am out of my out of my brothers. And we always make the joke, who's gonna be the best? So that's what I gotta try and do: is just be the best and, and continue the legacy. It always feels great to execute. Um, I mean, longer longer plays and the explosive plays like we did today um, but at the end of the day if we can get in the end zone that's that's what we like is I mean seven points is better than no points so whatever I can do and whatever the rest of the team can do to help uh, help us get in the end zone is what the goal is because I mean when you score points you win games so I feel like the scrimmage we did pretty good um, one thing that we went through we went through a lot of adversity but it was good to see how we uh, how we responded to all that adversity there's a lot of stuff we gotta um, clean up these next few weeks before we get to uh, uh, Washington State, but I think we'll be fine. It's good to see that we have a lot of tough, tough players on the team that will respond to adversity well. Um, the effort is like one of the main things we emphasize every single day. Every single time we watch a film, we always see if everyone is running to the ball, and if we're not, we pay for it. You know, and that's the only way we can make a we can make a, um, a good, solid defense is by running to the ball. Because at the end of the day, luck follows effort, and as long as we can get 11 hats to the ball, we know. Yeah, really talented front from the D tackles to the DNs. We're really loaded in depth. We got uh, me, Marcus, then uh, Phil, James, and the young buck Gessie is coming along really well as well. Uh, we got we got a lot a lot more guys, and um, I feel like you never. It's good that we have a good solid five and six um, in the interior D line because. Um, you know, we can always stay fresh in the game. And Coach Al, Coach Devine, Coach Lapp have been doing an excellent job um, getting us ready and running the defense how we need to run it. I feel like we can always we can always get better and we do need a, um, ways to go in terms of being consistent with our technique and with our um, physicality. We can do it, we do it most of the time, but we gotta make sure that we do it every play. We gotta make sure that we knock dudes back and create create disruption in the backfield so that our linebackers and the rest of the defense can flow to the ball and we can make plays.